Hi everyone, my name is Riley Sullivan and I'm a sophomore sport business and marketing double major at the University of Mount Union. Today, I'm going to talk about social security, how it works, its history, why it's beneficial, what may happen with the current social security system in the future, and some possible solutions to fixing social security's problems. First off, what is social security in the United States? Social Security was officially established in 1935, signed into law by Franklin Delano Roosevelt on the heels of the Great Depression. It was mainly established to help elderly, unemployed, and disadvantaged Americans afford day-to-day -day necessities. Social Security and its premise stems all the way back to the 17th century, where English poor laws helped citizens who were struggling to get by. This included housing, food, and monetary assistance. So how does Social Security work? Every time an American is paid out of their paycheck, a small portion of that money is taken out and put into the Social Security system. From there, it is dispersed to different beneficiaries who buy basic needs such as food, clothing, and housing with that money. And a fun fact is you probably have and still do pay into the Social Security system. Why is Social Security good for the economy? Well, first off, it keeps money moving through the system and our current population. Also, a wider variety of people in different economic situations are given an opportunity to participate in the economy. When they get money through Social Security, they spend money that otherwise they wouldn't receive. So therefore, they're pushing more money into the economy, buying goods and resources, and providing jobs for the people. Social Security also has the potential to allow beneficiaries to build up savings and move through the economic classes. This is saying that people in low income areas can save up money through Social Security and ultimately get on their own two feet. And finally, Social Security improves the living quality of all American people. Essentially, people are able to afford the basic necessities of life to be safe, happy, and healthy. Now, what are the experts saying? Chief Actuary of the Social Security Administration, Stephen Goss, says that by 2037, Social Security may run out of money and their funds will become exhausted. This means that we can't keep going on the same Social Security system that we have in place now. It will ultimately fail, but for now, it helps so many Americans, it's not really worth changing. Now, other experts, Perry, Barry Bosworth and Gary Burtless, senior fellows of economics at the Brookings Institution in Washington, D.C., believe that there is reason for unease about Social Security's future. However, the fear is exaggerated. They believe that public and private reform plans can save the Social Security system and keep providing Americans with money in the future. Now, there are some problems arising there are consistently less workers to more beneficiaries. As people live longer, ultimately, they require more money. So workers have to keep working longer to meet those demands, but still people retire. They wanna take their break too. Another problem is low bond yields. Social security money is oftentimes invested into US bonds so that they can grow over time. But unfortunately, it's gotten to the point where bond yields are actually less than what they're worth due to inflation. And finally, Congress is very divided on how to fix this system and finding a solution isn't easy. So what are some possible solutions? We can privatize social security. By having a private company take over social security in exchange for a small percentage of money, we can ensure that Americans are provided their retirement, disability, and unemployment money in the future. However, this is risky because private companies will most likely invest the money put into Social Security. This leaves the door open for us to lose lots and lots of money or make money back. It's risky. It just works a lot like a bank. We can also increase payments to Social Security, requiring more money to be taken out of each worker's paycheck. Now this is very unpopular because as is with taxes, when taxes rise, Americans don't usually want to pay them. Same goes for Social Security payments. If we raise them, it will be met with harsh backlash. We can also raise the, re raise the retirement age, but this is also very unpopular. People would like to retire when they want to, 
and they don't want to keep working until they are almost dead. We can also reduce Social Security benefits for IRA earners. This means that people who make the most money receive less from the Social Security system, assuming that they don't really need it to survive. However, this is also very unpopular because those people worked hard for their money too, and they don't always want to give all of it away. So it's very controversial. Those people do want to keep their money. They've worked hard for it, but ultimately the system won't survive. The biggest problem is there's no simple solution. All of them are very controversial and will be met with backlash. So I'd like to thank you for listening to my presentation today. Here are my sources.